Hi everybody. I just uh, wanted to send a quick video. Um, I, I discovered this, uh, I guess he's a seismologist, would be the best thing to call him. And uh, I really believe that God brought this across my path. Um, I haven't really searched for anything like this. And, uh, but this caught my attention. And um, he seems to be a very knowledgeable man. He has a channel on YouTube. I'm going to put links to two different videos that I watched of his um, and I, it's you know he's very good at, from what I can see so far and I've just been watching today um, at making really accurate predictions of where earth earthquakes can strike uh, or happen uh, and uh, he usually is pretty good about it like within 72 72 hours of where he says it's going to happen. He has an understanding about plates and a lot of scientific stuff. And um, I, I was very um, impressed by it. In fact, when I was watching the his 10 o'clock show that came on earlier, um, there were two, well, maybe three or four earthquakes that had actually occurred that he had predicted by the information that he uses and his knowledge. So, um... I wanted to share that information with you with you guys. Um, you know, I, lately I've had a lot of visions about the earth shaking and um, I have seen some really strong earthquakes and visions of the past. Um, and I don't know that the shaking that I've seen, you know, in the last few visions has necessarily been uh, about specific earthquakes. Um, it could very well just be about just all of the things, like various natural disasters and, and things that are happening, um, that are going to be happening here really soon, and have already started. Um, so, uh, I wanted to make a video about it because he, um, gave a strong, pretty strong warning for the people who live in Greece and Italy about you know, some strong earthquakes there, and um, he said, of course, you know, he's, there seems to be a lot of earthquakes that go on on the West Coast, but most of what I was seeing in the video were, were pretty small. Um, but you can watch the videos for yourself, um, and I just, you know, if you live in Greece and Italy and uh, Southern Europe there, I just wanted to send a warning and this video to you, um, I hope that you um, are prepared for an earthquake, that you know what to do in the event of an earthquake. Um, I really don't have a plan together, and I'm going to put one together because I live on the New Madrid Fault. And um, I did find out today from this man that when you see a lot of activity going on on the West Coast, um, it will affect the New Madrid Fault Line. I, I don't, I'd never heard that before, so, and he, he lives on the New Madrid, too, so anyway, um, so I need to get a plan together. We've had very few earthquakes here, um, I think, you know, we've had a lot of tornadoes, that's our big thing here. I think we've had four series of really strong tornadoes that, that have devastated this small city that I live in. Um, in the last 20 years, we've had to do a lot of rebuilding. And so we kind of know uh, we have a plan for tornadoes. Everybody has a plan. You know, it's like, you know it like the back of your hand because, and it's probably that way in California with earthquakes, uh, even in Washington State. But I think it's good to be planned. Um, you know, what's the safe thing to do in the event of an earthquake? Check it out. I'm going to check it out too. Um... Like I said, I've included the links. Um, now, I didn't share this part, I don't think yet. I'm tired. Um, and I'm still sick. And I'm cold. It is really cold here right now. We're trying to stay warm. Um, the first thing they got my attention with was, now you have to understand, like, God showed me a few days ago that there would be an event 
that involved the sun. And it just was kind of a random thing that he showed me that seemed to be very, like, didn't have a real connection to the other things he was telling me and showing me um, at the time. But I wrote it down, and I think I even shared it in, a, in two or three videos back here on this, you know, YouTube. Um, but w w what got my attention with, with the seismologist first was that he, I started watching and he said that he'd never seen anything like this on one of his uh, it's like an energy scanner over the nation you know like he can watch it to see uh anything from the sun comes like solar um i can't think what they're called but yeah <laughs> sun like the sun sun energy energy from the sun affecting us solar flares that's it but, uh, and he, sh and he talked about it and he even showed in one of the videos that I've put in the link where he's seen solar flares show up before and, um, they usually affect a certain region like over the Atlantic or, you know, a certain portion, but he's, he had what come up on the 18th and the 19th of December, just, you know, in the last 48 hours, um, this very strong wave that looked like a solar, uh, flare that covered the entire earth and you know he shows it over and over in the video because he says he's never seen anything like it he was told in a tweet that it was bad data you know it wasn't a glitch it wasn't a prank which is what he kind of thought might have been it um but he was told it was bad data but he seemed to be very skeptical of it um so I'm, you know, I'm not sure if there's something valid to that or not. I think in the times we live in, we can't help but err on the side of caution. But he said that what happens when there is a solar wave, a solar flare like that, the energy, uh, you know, it will cause earthquakes usually, you know, several days after because of the way it's, it hits into the earth, into this, you know, he explains it better than I can. So, um, he's sort of really not sure. He's skeptical about it. And he said that likely if there's an, you know, a, a major earthquake or something that can happen or, or multiple bad earthquakes that can happen from this, it would be, you know, 25th, 26th, you know, Christmas, that several days before it to have an impact. Um, so anyway, I'm sharing, you know, I'm, I'm, re, I'm sort of resharing a few things that God showed me about the shaking uh, of the earth, about um, also the, the solar flare. I, look, I saw like something, I saw the sun and I saw like something kind of come out of it, sort of like burst out of it. And I knew that, you know, the Lord was saying there's something that's going to happen uh, that's related to the sun. It's the first thing God's ever shown me about the sun. Um, so, uh, I'll also, it's interesting in one of the videos is, uh, there's one area in Nevada where they had a very small earthquake, um, but it's very close to where I have seen this meteorite or whatever it is, um, where I believe it will hit soon. And he pointed it out and it was really fascinating. Um, um watch the video for yourself. I, I had no idea that that area, you know, was, um, it has been made by man through certain things in the military to be much more, um, susceptible to earthquakes. So anyway, I'm going on and on, but I wanted to warn people, you know, in Southern Europe, um, people on the West coast, I think they're always prepared. Lots of, uh, Activity going on there and look at the videos and see what you think of it a lot of this you know I'm sharing I've shared some of the stuff that God showed me but you know this is also from um, just knowledge from technology and I I think some people really want to discount science and uh, the gift that it is to us so often yes there's a lot of technology that's being used in very negative ways but there are some really positive things about it, like a multitude. And it's easy to forget about that when you live in a country like America where, you know, 
even now we have a really we have a really good life you know um, I don't think it's gonna stay that way I think it's gonna get hard but you know we, we take things for granted we don't need to take technology for granted you know I'm going to the doctor tomorrow <laughs> finally and I don't I believe it's a it's a good thing uh, to see a physician because we have this knowledge that's out there and uh, God uses it to help us so if you want to stay on top of earthquakes you know um, this guy I think is a very good guy to follow he is a little arrogant but you know sometimes when people are really good at stuff they're, they're kind of arrogant so uh, I can overlook that and I appreciate the knowledge that I get uh, from this and I'll kind of be following it here and there um, I appreciate your prayers your continued prayers for my health and um, I thank you for your comments um, I've been doing a lot of praying because I have not been able to do very much for several weeks it's been very frustrating but I look at the blessing side of it that I've had more time to get into the word and to pray and I do pray for all of you who are my subscribers who see these videos. I pray that God brings the right people to that need to see these videos. Um, I pray for my enemies out there, um, those who curse me and want to kill me and call me a false prophet, say I'm crazy. Um, I forgive you. It's immediate for me because of how much God has forgiven me of. And it's also an instruction in the Word of God. You know, not just to forgive your enemies, but bless them. And I do. I bless you. I bless my enemies. I pray for good things to happen to you in your life. Um, and that's not like just rhetoric. I, I truly feel very strongly about that. I am. Um, so, I'm going to finish this up. It's getting long. So, uh, God bless you all. And um, I look forward to your comments. And I appreciate all your prayers and uh, keep praying for God to show you what to do and how to prepare for what's coming and what's going on even now and get together a good preparedness plan for you know different types of storms uh, earthquakes and these kind of things you know it's just it's just common sense um, God bless you all